Hi, I'm Tessa and I'm Production Coordinator at TraumaSim. I organise all of our jobs and processes here as well as doing a large portion of our silicon wounds that we paint. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to set up and operate our LifeCast Arm Hemorrhage Control Simulator. When you buy this unit, it comes complete with the following. First, we have the LifeCast Arm itself with two 6mm straight adapters that connect the plumbing to the arm. There are two 1 meter lengths of 6mm PVC tubing and your 5 litre pressure pump, which we use to hold the blood mixture. To connect the PVC tubing to the pump, we have either a 6 to 8 millimetre straight adapter or a double adapter. This allows you to operate the two wounds together or separately. The blood mixture for this item is just water and red food colouring, so you'll receive a bottle of food dye. This here is the arm bracket, which allows the user to clamp or bolt the unit to the table and is an optional purchase. If you do purchase the bracket, you'll receive two G clamps to attach your bracket to the table. We have here some TraumaSim wound packing gauze. And lastly, all of the elements are sent out in a convenient carry bag. To set up for use, you'll need the following. A clear table or a bench top and some drop sheets. If you don't want to get any red stains on your hands, you can wear a pair of gloves, but I prefer not to. If you have your workspace set up now, you're good to go. Let's get started. Start by clearing your table or your bench top and make sure all of the areas that you don't want to get wet are covered in a drop sheet. Often working outside is better than working indoors. Take your life cast arm and place it on the corner of the table that you would like to use. There are two usable positions available, which we call position A and position B. The two options are there in case a user only has access to one corner of a bench top. This allows the user to rotate the arm in the bracket to fit the corner of the bench that they intend to use. This is what each position looks like. Today, I'll be using the arm in position B. With your arm in place on the table, attach the two G-clamps to connect it to the bench. Now that the arm is in place, put all of your red food dye into the five liter pump which you've pre-filled with water. Connect the plumbing to the pump using the six to eight millimeter straight adapter. Next, connect the six millimeter tubing to the arm using the six millimeter straight adapter. To prepare your pump to push out the blood, you'll need to fill it with air. I like to use my pump on the floor, but for the purposes of this video, I'll leave it on the table so you can see. With five liters of water in the pump, one pump will be enough to get the right amount of pressure that you need. I'm going to use the wound on the upper arm first. I'm now turning the tap 90 degrees to allow the blood to flow through the plumbing. Once the wound has started to bleed, you can apply your wound packing gauze and press it into the laceration to slow the bleed. Because this is gauze and coloured water, the gauze will soak through and the wound will continue to bleed. Real blood would begin to clot, and while this fake blood won't, our simulation gives the user a good practice at wound packing. To stop the bleeding, turn the tap on the pump back 90 degrees. I'm switching over the plumbing now so the pump bottle is feeding to the other wound. To take the plumbing apart, push down on the red ring and pull the connector away from the PVC tube. The wound on the forearm functions differently and will spurt blood straight out. You'll need a tourniquet to stop the bleeding and that's not a product that we distribute at TraumaSim. The arm functions with a rat or a cat tourniquet and today I'll be using a cat tourniquet. I'll turn the tap on and the arm will start to bleed. Once the arm is bleeding, take your tourniquet and apply it to the arm. Tighten the tourniquet until the bleeding stops. Once the bleeding has stopped, turn the tap off on the pump. To release the pressure on the pump, lift the red valve upwards and you'll hear the air escaping. I'm now going to list some things that you should not do with the LifeCast arm. The only kind of blood that should go into the arm and the pump is water with food colouring in it. Anything thicker can dry and clog up the holes. You should never put your full body weight onto the arm. Don't push too hard down to the arm or you might break the inner core. Now that we're done, let's show you how easy it is to clean and pack away. To prepare for this, we have another five litre bottle of water. For you, you can empty your blood bottle and rinse it under a hose or a tap. Reconnect your pump to the arm and flow the water through the wounds to wash the blood mixture out. The rest is simple. Wash off anything red with water and you're good to go. 
The red dye will stain your skin for about a day, but otherwise is water soluble. Again, once you're finished with your pump, lift the valve to release the air. Wipe down all of your elements or leave them to dry in the sun and you're ready to pack it all away into your carry bag. If you'd like more information or to book an online demonstration, please visit our website.